Van, my guy. What's going on? Yo, so is Ye scheduled to be at TMZ later on today? Uh, yes, he will be here in two hours. So what hours. does that mean for you? Do you take an extra long lunch break then, or do you just go home? <laughs> this is the question. Um, I, I floated the idea. I was like, yo, man, maybe I will have the flu to, tomorrow. I said that yesterday. Um, but people were adamant that I come in. Sure, yeah, sure. Of course. I have a feeling he might want to bring a little smoke to you, bro, bro, just from last time. You think so? I think so. I think he's going to, I think he may challenge you. You think that would be wise? No, that would not be no. wise at all. Maybe not wise for him, but entertaining nonetheless. Yeah, listen, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think I told you guys this before. Me and Kanye have exchanged some emails uh, since that whole thing happened. Um, and I thought, to be honest with you, things, he was on a good page in life. I thought that these antics and sort of these things uh, were in his rearview mirror, but Obviously, I was wrong. Uh, the rant that Kanye went on, um, was he supposed to do that? Did he do that on his own? He just grabbed that mic and did his thing? Because they didn't air it on NBC, right? Yeah, no. I, mean, I don't think that they uh, they expected it. As a matter of fact, we probably would have never had any video of it uh, if Chris Rock wouldn't have been Johnny on the spot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and we do know now that there was some real tumult going on uh, behind the scenes there uh, at Saturday Night Live. Um, and we have some stories that might be breaking later on today about what he actually said uh, in terms of the bullying. Sure. Do you think Kanye West threw a fit backstage? That's not what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing is that there were people who uh, noticed the hat on his head and thought that um, uh, it was a bad idea for him to do it. Are you listening to Yandi if it ever drops? Uh, I'm not, like, running out, but but understand, though, I'm not boycotting, dude. I just... I really don't have the answers. I don't know what the hell is going on. Bro, Van, Red Pill Podcast, yeah. TMZ. Keep us posted. Good luck today. Can't wait to see what Sorry. happens. Wish I could have been more articulate for you guys. Just a lot of feelings, man. No, <laughs> I hear you, bro. I hear you, man. Right. It's tough. It's tough being a yay fan. It's mm-hmm. it's really tough, man. You know, I, I'm going to watch TMZ, though, today so I can see what Van said to him on yeah. TV. We're on it. Right. We're on <laughs> it. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> All right, Van, thank All you very right. much, man. Kanye West made a fool of himself at SNL. Right or wrong? Yo, yeah. Right. Yeah. Listen to this. You see, they laughing at me. You heard them scream at me. They bully me. They bullied me backstage. They said, don't go out there with that hat on. They bullied me backstage. They bullied me. And then they say, I'm in a sunken place. You want to see the sunken place? Okay. I'm going to listen to y'all now. I'm going to put my Superman cape on. Because this means you can't tell me what to do. Follow your heart and stop following your mind. You know how many people have really been bullied and that uh, that situation, whatever situation they were bullied in, has impacted their entire life? Oh, yeah, of course. You That's not me? even being bullied. Like, are you serious? Toughen your skin then at that point. You know what I'm saying? If they're asking you, you to take off skin. a hat or they're asking you to do something. That's not bullying. No. And that is an insult to those who have been bullied damn near their entire life. You understand what I'm saying exactly. here? Exactly. You understand, mm-hmm. man? I think he's just exaggerating. 818 Kanye, let's focus on making Kanye great again. Let's focus on right. that. You understand? I Kanye. Yeah. The America that Trump speaks about does not involve you or I or any of us. It's a lost cause for us, my guy. We have to be, we're on our own here. We don't join forces with evil. We just don't do that. Do you somewhat understand him at all? I I'm having a hard time understanding him now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hard for me. It's it's really really hard. Like I get every time he speaks about things like that, I just get so disappointed in him and I'm just like, what happened to him? Like where did he go? And you know what? Yeah, you have successfully made Little Pump look sillier. I don't know how you did it, my guy, but you did it. You're on stage in a Halloween costume, bro, bro. Let's get yes. it together. Eight one eight five two zero one zero five nine. Joe in Santa Ana. What's good, bro? What up, Cruz? It's your boy, man, with an appetite, dog. How you been? I'm well, man. man How are you? Man with appetite. That's our favorite foodie. Right. Yo, Joe, uh, Kanye West, what are your thoughts, man? My thoughts is that he has no right to be talking about bullying. This guy is calling the pot. He's basically the pot calling the kettle black. Wasn't he just bullying Taylor Swift and calling out people? I said that. I did. I said that. He's basically, he's basically contradicting himself. And also about this Make America Great. You know what? America's always been great because we have this platform that we could speak and say what we can. And he needs to be start stop blaming everyone and start becoming a man and take responsibility for yourself. 
And That's you know what, Joe? Starts off and you know what? His fans are getting bullied because they're fans of him. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, you're pushing I, I us think, away. You're pushing your biggest supporters away. I think the biggest problem is, is social acceptance. And now that there's a big platform with social media, that everybody has a right to, to say what they want. And people can't accept that either. Like True. I said before, if you got thin skin, get off of it. Get off of it. People are going to talk. Thank you, Joe. Thank you very much. Have a great day, okay? All right, you guys too, man. Take care. My guy, 818-520-1059. Kanye West, your thoughts. Uh, he went on a uh, rant on SNL. He performed on SNL. What's up, Garcia? No, no, nothing. I was just going to say, like, I think it's, uh, it's ironic because it's not a two-way street to Kanye. He wants everybody to accept his beliefs with his freedom of exactly. speech. Exactly. But sure. if someone differs from his opinion, he's not accepting of that. <laughs> and we're also like, think, bro, you're SNL? being a jackass. I'm sorry. Do you, you think SNL I mean? regrets having him on? Oh no, they love the pub. Yeah. They probably love the uh, the action that okay. comes with it. You feel me? Yeah. But uh, I don't know if they'll have them back though. You know what I'm saying? Because exactly. they have sponsors as well. You know, uh, Kanye fans are fighting for Ye, and we're getting tired. It's it's exhausting being a Kanye fan. Whoa. It's exhausting being a fan. Fa- Listen, yeah, you have given us everything you have, right? But in return, we have given you everything we have: our time, our money, our dollars, our loyalty. You feel me, bro? Stop pushing us away. It's the Cruise Show, Power One Hundred Six Eight. One eight five two zero one zero five nine. Your thoughts on Kanye this morning? Mm-mm, Let's get it, man. Mm-mm. Power one zero six, number one for hip hop. E man. Let's get it.